this is it. This is my DIY version of a nitrate reactor. If you want to learn how to make one, stay tuned. What's up YouTube? John here. Thank you so much for joining Blue Carbon Reefing. Uh, today just wanted to show you how I am taking nitrates or reducing my nitrates to the next level here. So uh, obviously my last couple videos you have seen I've been battling my nitrate level which has been very high at least 80 parts per million or higher. Uh, I've gotten a lot of great tips from you guys or good advice but um, uh, what I decided to try was to build a denitrator or a nitrate reactor. So essentially how it works is you have a certain type of media, a sulfur media that grows a specific type of bacteria that specifically targets the nitrates itself. So um, I actually had these reactors kind of laying around. I was using one for bio, bio pellets and uh, wasn't really that effective with the bio pellets. So I figured why not use these reactors to uh, you know, try to make this instead of spending five, six hundred dollars on some kind of a reactor. Uh, did a lot of research on it, um, concept-wise, and just kind of wanted to figure out how it works so I could try to put something like this together. And I figured I would show you guys what it looks like. So, essentially, what you're seeing here is I have two different uh, bio pellet reactors um, that have about a half inch um, hose fitting on the top of them. So there's an input and output for each one. I can explain this later in the video of how the flow goes through the reactor, but if you're familiar with bio pellet reactors, it's exactly like that. It goes down the middle and just kind of flows up and would normally be tumbling the bio pellets. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna be using it as a very, very, very slow flow. So I originally had set it up with the half inch um, kind of piping for a day just to see how the flow would come out. And I did have one of these, I believe they're called John Guests, uh, quarter inch kind of fittings, same thing you would use for RO tubing uh, with your RO unit. So essentially I found out that this kind of elbow has a perfect, absolute perfect fitting uh, to go inside that half inch fitting. There is no, no threading or anything on the inside, it just is such a snug fit that it actually fits so perfectly you kind of have to tighten it on like you would actually be turning into something that's threaded. Um, this is going to be a very, very, very low flow, like literally uh, it would be down to one or even less than one drop per second. So uh, it's not going to be a whole lot of pressure on this system, really at the end of the day just wanted something that's going to be watertight. Uh, I've heard people using uh, something as simple as a two liter bottle. So uh, since I had these reactors sitting around, I figured why not use them for this purpose. Um, but just kind of putting everything together here. Uh, I'm of course taking apart the um, the half inch tubing to be able to put these kind of elbows in there and as you will see as I uh, put these on here it takes a very uh, it has to be almost perfect and you have to give it some pressure to kind of put it in there uh, to get it to go in there but at the end of the day I had already tested it for 24 hours with the one elbow before I had gotten some more uh, so so I just wanted you guys to get the concept behind it. Uh, if you are curious to know, these reactors are a company called Bashia or Bashi, uh, however you pronounce it. It's a Michigan company. You can buy them on Amazon. You can um, buy them in a few different places like uh, Premium Aquatics and stuff like that. So um, these actually fit perfectly. I am not sure if any other reactors obviously would fit like this. Uh, I happen to just kind of luck out with this, but uh, I just wanted you to really understand the concept of what I'm doing. Uh, so you could certainly try to make your own uh, nitrate reactor or something like that if you'd like to. So essentially the whole point is you're going to have one reactor that's going to have the sulfur media and it's going to go through that reactor and it, as it goes through and creates this bacteria that the it's a very oxygen depleted environment so uh, the pH is going to be down uh, which of course is could potentially drop or cause a problem with the pH of the water um, if you're obviously putting low pH water back into the system so the second chamber is obviously where you're going to have that aragonite or that um, you know calcium reactor media that that low pH could eventually um, start to melt but it would also kind of buffer the water 
going back into your uh, you know tank after it's going through there so uh, after a couple weeks of building up bacteria it should work perfectly where it's actually going to be um, going into the reactor and then coming out at zero nitrate so obviously it'll take some fine-tuning just like anything a calcium reactor or any other kind of nitrate reactor that you would actually buy but um, I just wanted you guys to understand the concept of what I'm trying to do here and um, hoping it should be very effective um, obviously I just kind of set it up within the last week uh, I tested it for a day with the full bore open uh, as the half inch kind of tubing just because that's what I had on on, on hand and then obviously I went forward and, and got these other um, kind of fittings to fit everything in and do the quarter inch tubing. And then I ran it for a few more days at the quarter inch tubing um, at the full open pump and just trying to help build that bacteria up. And as of yesterday, I just dialed it down to basically one drip per second you'll see here is um, kind of what I slowed it down to. So again, this is where the fine tuning will come in, uh, but theoretically, this should obviously be very effective when it comes to reducing nitrates. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens over the next few weeks. Uh, I will definitely be updating you guys on you know what's going to be happening. So, if you are interested, this is uh, the two different medias. It's a live sulfur media made by Carob C, and then the uh, aragonite, of course, the extra coarse. Uh, from what I've read, is better than kind of the smaller media. Uh, when using it for this type of purpose or this reactor. So um, one other thing I did do on top of building this nitrate reactor is I had purchased the Kent Marine iron and manganese uh, additive. So um, I've done some research and uh, been advised that Ketomorpha and a lot of your macroalgaes uh, need manganese in order to grow. So nitrates have always been high and my ketomorpha is not really taking off. I give it plenty of light. Uh, obviously the nutrients are there. So I was always wondering what element uh, that may be depleted that it's not able to grow. So trying it out with iron and manganese, I'll obviously update you there. Uh, but I can tell you that even after a couple of days, uh, I can start to see some of these balls growing a little bit and they look a lot shinier, which to me means new growth. So uh, I will definitely update you as well there. Okay, so here's the finished product. Uh, essentially, we have a Tom's Aqua Lifter and it is drawing water from the sump down here it's gonna draw up through it's gonna draw in water through and then it's gonna come back out and then it's coming up this line and it's getting pushed straight down to the bottom of this reactor. It comes all the way straight through the middle of this reactor and the water is flowing up the reactor and then it comes out up to the top and out this one which is going to go down to the middle of this one and then same thing it's going to go down through the middle of this one and the water is going to upflow through the aragonite and then it's going to go out this input, out this input, and down. And right now, you can see the drip rate. It's exactly what this is fully open right now. I do have a dial, so if I want to dial it down, I can dial it even more. So right now, I'm not sure at what drip rate to go with. But I hear it takes a couple weeks for the bacteria to start to build up. So. This is kind of my makeshift version of a sulfur denitrator. So we're using the same sulfur media. This is what I would normally have bio pellets in. And then this would be the same thing, just a smaller version for bio pellets that basically is going to help with keeping that pH or raising that pH back up and probably melting some of this media which is going to help dose some alkalinity magnesium and calcium as it melts this up. So that's it. That's my version. We just got it set up. Um, just got it set up so it's probably going to be a couple weeks I would assume before I start to see anything work but I will start to take some tests of the direct output 
of this water and see if there's any difference, if we can see any any reduction in nitrates or anything like that. So stay tuned. Oh, just so we can see this, this looks kind of crazy. This guy's just going to town. I don't know how you got up there. I don't know how you got up there and why you have one arm, but enjoy. Looks like there's another guy down here. Oh, and there's a third guy reaching for it. <laughs> 